All right, so for our first hero today, we're gonna go with the big boy, the Batman himself. Let's see what he can do. So he does have an adrenaline pump like in the movie, but our main thing we're gonna wanna use is the Vengeance Finisher. So let's go over to our damage target. Go ahead. Here we go, Vengeance Finisher. Bada bing, bada boom. A couple melee shots. Definitely gonna work really well if you're in some, you know, if you're in a tough situation and your guy is very low. I don't think I'm gonna rank these today, but there's a lot of really cool finishers in this game and I don't wanna miss any of them and really compare them because I think they're all really cool. Let's get our boy Moon Knight in here. Let's get some Moon Knight action going. So let's go ahead and find our low target and use our Khonshu Slam. Let's see what happens here. Oh, damn. Now, if we activate Moon Knight, do we get a different finisher? Flip grab. Let's check this. Oh, yeah, we do. Look at that. Oh, interesting, interesting. And then we got Mr. Knight. So, Mr. Knight has changing the sky. Yo, kudos to the developers for having different ultimates for every single character. Look at that. Ooh, I like that. And then, boom, come on. I wish I could show you guys the audio because of the copyright, but, like, ooh. All right, all right, all right. We got our boy Peacemaker over here. Don't worry, we're gonna get to everyone today. So Peacemaker has his shield finisher. Let's go ahead, uh, press five. I actually haven't seen most of these. It's actually my first time, so that was pretty cool. Let's do that one more time, shield finisher. It was kind of fast. So you throw your shield up, and then it looks like you hit him, and then it does some nice damage. For those who have watched the show, oh my god, uh, Peacemaker is pretty brutal. All right, then we got Peacemaker's friend, Vigilante. Let's go ahead and use our rocking finisher. How is this gonna work? Oh, damn! Throws a grenade! Oh, I love that. They really they really fit the character very nicely. Like, later on when we try um, Wednesday, she plays the cello. Like, you can tell the developer put a lot of time uh, working on these ultimates and making them work for the character. We need Rocking Finisher one more time. Go, Rocking Finisher. So, again, he pulls out the gun. Uh, throw a little grenade action going on. It's kind of long, to be honest. So this could be really nice if you're in a sticky situation. Because I don't believe you can take damage when you use your ultimate. But don't quote me on that. I'm still pretty new to this game. Alright, so then we do have John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic. He has the stretch pull. I think we have tried this before. Uh, let's go ahead and check this guy out. Yeah, I love that so much. I don't know if he has, like, a dedicated ultimate, but that's probably the one that's gonna have the biggest cooldown, because he has NA for his other one. If I do miss any, though, let me know in the comment section below. But we can do one more stretch pull. Here we go. Boom! Get out of here, Oh my god, he went flying. Now, next up, we got our boy Doctor Strange. If you guys saw in the intro, he does have a time heal and, like, ice tentacles. Again, not really, like, a dedicated ultimate, but the time heal is pretty cool as well. The animations are so nice in this game. Our ice tentacles here we go like come out of the ground rip him out and i think that's really it nothing crazy with dr strange but i bet it'll be like a mirror dimension ultimate when they add it unless i'm missing something then we got our boy uh peter parker otherwise known as the spider-man oh uh, no we do know he does have the spider sense if you guys watch my last video so if i can get this guy to hit me when i use my spider sense you can see i just dodge it like that which is actually a pretty broken ultimate in my opinion it's gonna be really nice if you're in a sticky situation it's not gonna do damage to them but you can just get out of there because literally no one can hit you it makes you pretty much invincible as a good way to think of it now now, Darth Vader, he has a lot going on with him. He can't even sprint. He is pretty menacing looking, but I'm pretty sure. So he has this force pull, right? Then you can like use your rage, to just get like crazy strong. And then you can see, where do you even go? You went flying and then you can whip out your lightsaber. And I mean, yeah, you're definitely going to chip them down pretty nicely along with your leap, saber throw, and heavy strike. So there's a lot you can do with Vader. No like dedicated ultimate because you have your lightsaber, but still very cool. I also like how you can't reset when you take damage. Very good detail by the developers. You can tell they really are trying to go for PvP um, aspect. I do hope they add ranked in this game. That would really make it. That, that would keep players engaged, especially uh, in my personal opinion. I loved ranked systems. And next up, we got Minecraft Steve. I actually have not seen his ultimate, so I'm pretty excited. So he has a block place. Oh, I've used this before, actually. So that's pretty cool if you're in a, a little tough situation. Now, I don't think you can use... How, how much can you build? It works. You can I like build in this guy? Kind of interesting. And then we got Enderman, which... Oh, it teleports you. Oh, that's so cool. So you can use your block place and then like stack it up with an enderman. I mean, how hot can we go here? If I just keep spamming, dude, that is, that is nice. That's gonna, that's gonna get you some real sticky situation. Let's try enderman on a low player target. So it looks like it just teleports you to the target. Next up, we got Wednesday Adams. If you guys watch my TikTok or my YouTube short, you can see Wednesday actually is a pretty interesting one because in the show, she plays her cello. It's beautiful, but here you can use it for actual damage and it does a lot as you can see. And you can even queue it up with your string finisher. So personally, really awesome in my opinion. You can see we got the bees going around because she's a big fan of bees. And then she snaps his neck just like that. Pretty 
pretty brutal, not gonna lie. Now, Homelander's got kind of a weird one. So he has a finisher, obviously. So we go ahead and we just go like this and ooh, it is brutal. It's like Batman's, but like with laser vision and he could fly with super strength. So definitely don't wanna get hit by that, but he's got milk anytime he takes damage. So you can kind of, you can kind of combo that together and you know, it's pretty strong. Now we got our boy, Barry Allen. In my last video, we tried out Run, Barry Run. So let's go ahead and uh, check this out. So I don't know if we're gonna hit him. Oh, we are. Ooh, that was strong. All right, so the Flash definitely has some nice speed with him. Now, what I love about A-Train is he doesn't just have a Flash clone ability. He's like an actual different character, which is so cool, and I love that the developer did that. So let's, let's go ahead, bloody finisher. Ooh, damn, A-Train has some chill, bro. God damn. And again, we got Zoom, but I don't think he's a clone, and I love that so much. You guys have no idea how much that means to me that they're not just cloning these characters, and they're putting time into each individual one, so you can actually main a character and not them all be the same. So let's go ahead and use your heart attack finisher. And, oh, he ripped it out. Oh, that is nasty. Dude, Zoom has no mercy. We got our boy Rambo over here. I really hope they add Rocky. That would be sick. Okay, so let's use Rambo. Let's go ahead and use our finisher. Let's see what we got. Oh, bow and arrow to the chest. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, it exploded. Dude, Rambo is brutal. God damn. Next up, we got our boy Steve from Stranger Things. Let's see what he's got here. So let's go ahead and press our finisher. So he's got his, you know, signature bat. Is that a bomb? Oh, it is. Kind of similar to Vigilantes. I kind of like that. Uh, very simple, but, you know, if you're Steve main, it's going to get the job done. Next up, we got Starlight. She got some sparks finisher. Let's see what that looks like. So, ooh, it's like the light attack in the show. If you guys don't know where she's from, Starlight is from the show The Boys on Amazon. It's a little adult, but great show. Then we got our boy, Soldier Boy. Wait, our boy, our boy, Soldier Boy. And he has got the shield finisher. So let's go ahead and check that out. Now, so it looks like he's got a melee finisher, but his signature finisher in the show is he has like this PTSD attack. So it looks like he actually does have PTSD. But I don't think he's going to let it go here because he kind of holds it in. So I'm assuming radiation is going to be where he lets it go. Yeah. Ooh, that bro, that could be a finisher right there. And then reload is just like his other ability. So interesting, interesting. We got our boy Sonic the Hedgehog. Again, not a Flash clone, which I love. He could easily just have made them Flash skins. But no, he has each individual ones. You will have to go through me. Let's check this guy out. All right. So it's got similar to Flash, Run, Barry, Run. But then you just go second mode. Oh, he like aimbots. Okay, and then he's got Chili Dog, which just makes you, I guess, faster. Maybe just more strength, gives you some health. And then we got Walter White, as we saw in my last video. He's got like kind of like a car. It's pretty cool. He's got a car explosion, and you can actually drive in the car if you don't actually hit anyone, which I think is super awesome in my opinion. But definitely, you know, pretty powerful. We got Springtrap. I haven't tried Springtrap yet, but I know he's like the thumbnail of the game right now. It's part of the new update. So let's use his finisher. See what we got. You know, he's from FNAF, and people in FNAF are brutal. Jesus, he just bit his head off. Holy. Dude, no mercy from Springtrap. Then we got our boy, the Sigma male Patrick Bayman in the house. One of my favorite movies, American Psycho. This is going to be brutal. Let's see what he's got. The signature axe. And then, ooh, ooh, damn, Patrick. Dude, Patrick's brutal. God damn. Now, if you guys don't know who Pibby is, Adult Swim released this, like, concept show for, like, it's like they go into all the Cartoon Network shows from like learning with Pibby. Pibby's like the Dora type character. She's like a playful character. And then she gets corrupt. I've heard her finisher is really cool. Uh, let's go ahead and try this out. A little punch. She's. I don't really know what her power is. Oh, he gets corrupt. Yo, that's so cool. Look at that. That is scary. Wow. That's sick. I love that. That is so cool. And then last but not least for today's video, we got Eleven from Stranger Things. Interesting model choice. She's pretty brutal in the show as well. So what's she going to do with her telekinesis? Wait. Oh. Is she ripping him apart? Oh. Damn, Eleven. That was brutal. All right. That was a lot of finishers. But go watch my next Marvelous Playground video for a full review.